guys, my name is Ivo and today I am a guest at Koi Water Barn in the UK. Tony, whom you recognize from the Dubai series, also has a store in England. More on this later. Tony has a beautiful store but also a large quarantine facility where today he is showing us some amazing Shiro Utsuri from the Omosako Koi Farm. Hi guys, welcome to the quarantine area, uh, the special facility, secret facility we have here at Koi Water Barn in this beautiful greenhouse. And here we have a selection of Jumbo Tosai Omo Sako Shiratsuri from the master himself, also some Nisai. So we can show you uh, some smaller ones and hopefully how they're going to develop and what they're going to end up like in the future. Yes, here's some of the smaller ones we've selected out. Uh, if we go through a couple of appreciation points here. Uh, if we start on this one straight away, this one, as you can see, the skin is exceptional. Very, very ice white shiroji, and the sumi is very, very, very black, like black ink. This one I would consider pretty finished now. So it's something maybe a hobbyist is gonna buy now because he can see what he's gonna get. Personally, me, to get something more like one of these two beautiful fish here. These are Nisai from Omoseko. This one, stunning pattern, as you can see. Very, very sharp edging on the sumi pattern. Nice motoguru. Uh, little secret here that you should look at. Never go for sumi in the leading ray. Sumi in the leading ray. This is from Omoseko himself. Uh, doesn't denote the real high quality sumi that you really want to get on these fish. Uh, body shape on this bigger one is I would say is superior to this one. Maybe this one has a better pattern. Uh, but again, sumi quality extremely good. This one's pretty finished where well, I think this one, this one's maybe going to fill in with a memoiri, which is the Y on the head there. This one, a little bit more to do here to get nice block sumi. But again, not too much sumi in the leading ray. So this is what you want to end up with. And where do we start? So on the smaller ones here, let's select out what we like, the, the nice attributes about some of these fish here. So with Amoseko Shiratsuri, we're looking for a nice white skin, ice white skin. Now obviously the ice white on this one's exceptional. This one as well, very, very good base that the sumi can then develop onto. We're also looking for body shape. Body shape on, on most of these are, are, are pretty exceptional. Pattern wise on this one here, very interesting pattern coming here. Very, very shaped and like a checkerboard pattern. So the sumi is balanced throughout the fish. This one, for example, for me, lovely memoiri, but maybe a bit too much sumi on this one for, for, for my, my taste. Uh, this one here, I'm liking this one. We have a lot of attributes on there. Not too much sumi in the leading ray. Get it out of the way there. We have very, very good ice white skin there. Very interesting sumi pattern. Little button nose there. Very even sumi throughout the fish. We think it's probably gonna develop more here. And this is fena sumi. So this is sumi, you see the little blue marking there? That's sumi that should develop over time. I would fully expect this koi here to fill in here and this sumi here contract into a nice strong finish. These fish came in about five weeks ago so they've gone through our strict quarantine procedure. We only quarantine fish of each breeders uh, in separate ponds, separate filters. Then we do the necessary healthcare checks and water parameter checks on the fish. So uh, these are now going for sale in the next, next few days. Uh, and as you can see, they're in, in excellent shape. Uh, no, 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 we don't mix breeders' fish. We, 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 yeah, we, keep, we keep breeders' fish completely separately. Uh, even throughout most of the, the selling process as well. Uh, reason being, you know, fish come from different bacterial zones in, in Japan, different uh, um, healthcare requirements. And uh, healthcare wise, it's much, much better to keep each individual breeder's fish, especially after shipment, because after shipment, they're, they're very stressed or can be stressed depending on the packing. Uh, and uh, we get them to tip top shape. 
uh, and ready to sell to go into uh, customers' ponds. Okay, to, to, get, to get a fish from, from what are we looking here, maybe 25, 28 centimetres for the biggest one. The, the Nisai variety uh, examples here, we're looking at maybe 52 up to around 56 centimetres. Uh, and they've achieved that in about a year. So with the right pond, the right filtration, uh, good quality food, uh, not too many fish in your pond as well, you can achieve these kind of growths. Omo Sacco, I think I was one of the first English dealers to go into Omo Sacco in about 1999. Uh, and uh, we used to take customers there, and it's quite a funny story. Uh, I think in about year, year 2000, we were buying fish from him at that time. The English hobbyists were only really interested in the big cheap fish. So uh, we bought 10 or 12 fish for, 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 for very good value. And then I just asked him, I said, uh, is it possible we could look at your, your best Nisai, your Kashiri, the, the best of the year? And uh, he said, okay. And he delved in his pond. And after about uh, 20 minutes, he's come up with one. Oh, this is my best one. So we're, we're looking at the fish and I said, uh, do you mind if you can tell me the rough price on this? And uh, he gave us the price, which was quite a lot of money in them days, you know, talking 1999. And uh, out the back of one of the group uh, that was there, a guy called Carl, he said, okay, I'll buy that, I'll have that. And I'm going to say, what? Excuse me? And I think he was a bit surprised because the customers at that stage hadn't really bought fish of that quality, but the, the customer saw the quality of the fish and uh, he was knocked over by it and said, I'll get the money out of my pocket and I'll, I'll buy that. And uh, I think Homo Sacco was a bit shocked because he frantically started looking at other fish in the pond, trying to find a better one. And uh, I, I don't think he really wanted to sell it. You know, it was probably his category. So after, after a few hours of discussion, he did agree to sell and uh, we put that into the All Japan show the following year and that won the first first prize I know of for a, an English hobbyist so it's uh, um, something we were very proud of now now the sons have taken over uh, and, uh, and they've really brought Omo Seko Shuritsuri to a, a very high level and uh, yeah they're known as the best Shuritsuri breeders in the world so if you're out there and you get the chance to buy uh, Omo Seko Shuritsuri I fully recommend it all right, but guys, I want to know which one you like the most, of course. I mean, Tony picked out his favorite, his first one, but I really want to know which one you like. And give me also a reason why. Well, out, out and I ball. mean, it, it's personal. So that's something that I mention every single time. It's personal, so it's not really always about the best quality. It's about what you like as a person. So right. you don't need to pick out the best one. Right, okay. Well, is uh, personally, and this one I'll be probably picking it on um, a bit of pattern wise is I'll probably go for the, the knee side. I really like the even motoguru in the fins and just the way that the sumi sort of lightning strikes down the body. The minwari coming through on the head is really nice and it has you know both white and a bit of sumi on the head. And I really like the pattern, it's sort of a bit of a like an orca well, a bit of a panda pattern. So, so I find it a very nice, pleasing pattern. Um, this one does have the nicer frame, nicer, bigger body, but sometimes, you know, a good, a good pattern just uh, takes it when you look at a fish. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that would, that would be the one for me. Good. Yeah. What about you? So I generally like to pick toe side, jumbo toe side. Um, I like to watch them develop and grow. Annoyingly, Tony's already picked out the one I would have uh, chose, which is this little one here. It's got, I think it has really good potential. Um, zooming coming through, I think, yeah, it would be a really good fish, especially for showing at a small size. Um, yeah, when it comes to Shiraz, I prefer to go more, less Sumi on them at this stage because as they get bigger, the sumi will come up over time. So that would be my pick, that, <laughs> that little one there, which, yeah. Nice. So talking about, I think it's a good thing you mentioned, because I'm gonna ask you this question, Tony. What do you think, I mean, Shiro Tsuri is one of the most difficult varieties to choose when they're very small, without True. the sumi develop. 
What can you give as, as advice to hobbyists that wants to buy a small Shiro Tsuri? Because you don't want, want it to be finished that soon, right? True, you don't want to be finished too early. Uh, and uh, from, I mean, I've asked Omo Seko the same questions. And uh, he says when he's choosing, you know, really, maybe really small Shiro Tsuri, uh, he will like blur his eyes and just look for the skin quality. So he's looking for really, really good white skin uh, and like a fenasumi, so a blue under the scale uh, in a in a um, in a balanced pattern over the fish. Uh, obviously, body shape very, very important. So he's looking for body and skin and the chance for the sumi to come through. All right, guys, so just let me know in the comments what you think of these amazing Shiro Tsuris. We are going to record the next episode with some uh, new varieties because we have so much to choose from. It's like a candy store, guys. We even have Jumbo Tosai here from Sakai, so we, I really want to pick out some fish of these, uh, these quarantine tanks. So, um, yeah, guys, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and uh, let us know in the comments what you think of the Shiro Tsuris and which one is your favorite? Let me know.